fierce advocate as well as being a real gentleman. But there you are. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a long uh, process to go on uh, today and many uh, items to go through. I'll do a brief report. We have completed the five statewide meetings. Uh, what in the Dickens did we call them, Mr. Grindstaff? Not workshops. They were called something else. Uh, related to the environmental impact report, and the fifth was completed. Uh, if I add up correctly, at the end of today's meeting, we will have had 69 days of meetings since we started in March of uh, 2010 of ourselves, uh, subcommittees, uh, workshops, and so on, and those details will be provided to you later. Uh, and the process is never-ending never ending. So let's get into the schedule if we could please Mr. Grindstaff you have the executive officer's report first. Uh, thank you very much. Red button. Very good. I'll learn how to do this. I'm just <laughs> slow. Okay. Uh, several things I just wanted to update the council on. First of all uh, the governor's budget uh, was released and so I have a little summary there basically for the council, it's um, hold everything where it has been uh, to allow us to finish doing the Delta plan. Uh, we also uh, included as a part of this the cross-cut budget, which is one of the responsibilities we're uh, tasked with remaining from our CalFed time, which includes both the state and federal budgets of projects that are related to CalFed. And you'll see there we have all of the state entities and their budgets for this coming year. The federal budget had not been released by the, uh, at the time we put this together, still hasn't been released. So uh, when that's released, we update that, and that's just an ongoing responsibility that we, uh, that we have. We have attached here uh, the contracts update. I did want to mention the EIR field hearings that we had. There were five of them. Uh, and many of you, most of you, were involved in a couple of, of those hearings. They, they went fairly well, I believe, weren't heavily attended. I think the highest was probably in the Delta where we had maybe 50 people, between 40 and 50 people attend. Uh, but still there was significant interest and I think it was worth, worth our time doing that. I should mention... Uh, one thing that's not in writing here, yesterday the state board released their notice of preparation for their Bay Delta plan. To, so they're actually beginning the process that will ultimately culminate in updating their water quality standards and uh, their flow standards. That's consistent with what uh, they have been telling us they wanted to do and consistent with what's in the fifth draft uh, Delta plan. We also have a copy of our comments uh, that we were um, we sent to the Susun Marsh Management Group. That's a follow-on to comments that we sent them during the during the EIR EIS process. And then, last but not least, in our in our meeting last month, uh, you gave approval for us to draft a letter. It doesn't have to be into the Department of Fish and Game, so I wanted to bring it back to the council before we finalize the letter to uh, the Department of Fish and Game about the proposed striped bass regulation. So that's the li last item. All right, well, I, I want to I run through each item of your report, see if there are questions by council members. Okay. Uh, members in your packet under agenda item 4B, the first item is a memo from Joe, the 2012-13 uh, governor's proposed budget and the zero-based budgeting project. Questions or comments on that? Uh, I'll just make a couple observations, Mr. Grindstaff. If two-thirds of Delta Stewardship Council spending is for science, which we say, and 36% of spending since our creation has been for Delta plan and the EIR, that's 102% of spending. Let's, Perhaps uh, we could get a little I more precision. I was careful about how we worded that because uh, we've spent up till now 36% on that. but prospectively this coming year, and I expect in future years it's two-thirds. I tried to word it in a way, and maybe I was too cute with that, but that was the intent. The, the, re the reason why I raise it is because we're always struggling 
to speak in English about our budgets and financing, but we're basing it on all the documents we submit to other government agencies in their own peculiar ways with their own formatting style, which no one can understand. At least I can't understand. So, for example, in this cross-cut budget, which we've been doing for eight years, eight years, there's something called oversight and coordination in the Delta Stewardship Council. But there's nothing that explains what is science spending and what is not. And, I mean, the point is our job is to explain to the public and to understand ourselves what we're doing. If two-thirds of what we're doing is spending for science, which seems to me to be both correct and an important statement to make, the documents that we use should attempt to, ex to consistently use that explanation. Uh, also, I, I just note that the cross-cut budget does not appear to be consistent in overall dollar figures with the provision, the parts of Chapter 9 that purports to find total state, federal, and local agency spending. But are the federal and state spending figures consistent? Well, the, first of all, the, this cross-cut was not out at the time we did the last draft of Chapter 9, but it, they are different things, and again, that you, that goes to your point, that we need to explain what the differences are. So, for example, in the cross-cut budget, it does not include uh, the cost of the state water project. The state water project is not in, in this budget, and that's probably on the order of a billion dollars a year. So, but that was in Chapter 9. So, there so, again, it goes to your point that we need to make sure that we clarify exactly what's in and what's out so people can understand it. Otherwise, they're going to look at it and say these numbers don't add up. Okay. Other questions on that? Okay. The next item where there's backup material uh, is uh, um, 4E, which is a letter dated January 5th from Mr. Ray to... Uh, to the Department of Fish and Game uh, as part of our continuing exchange on the Susun Marsh Habitat Management Plan. That's probably worth a note because, as you recall, I've, many months ago we said there were problems with it. The science folks uh, said there were problems with it. They responded, and I just noted that uh, uh, Mr. Ray's letter said, unfortunately, the comments in response may not answer the concerns we raised, and under those circumstances, it may be that we're unable to determine consistency with the Delta plan. And that is something, uh, actually, there's, there are further meetings scheduled on that issue, uh, and uh, Dan Ray is planning to meet with that group to see if they can work out the issues. So that, that discussion continues. Did, um, but we were under a timeline to put something in writing so we met that timeline. That's well, I, I remember we were the timeline was very tight when we sent in our first letter. Uh, one thing that I, 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 I frankly forgot, did the environmental impact report documents or the response uh, acknowledge the co-equal goals, the new state legislation, and uh, reflect any considerations of those goals in implementation of the Susun Marsh Plan? Is Mr. Ray around? He's parking my car. I'm oh, sorry. okay. Uh, uh, but uh, I've made a mistake. And, and well, let's come back. At, when he gets back, when we'll come back, back to that. Okay. Other questions on this issue? Uh, then I think the last was the letter on striped bass. And members, we talked about this at our meeting at the, the hotel in Sacramento on, uh, in was it November or December? I guess it was December. December. Uh, and this is the letter that you sent out in uh after we have that. not sent it out. Oh, you, oh I'm sorry. Ask, ask, uh, since we don't have to send it out for another four days or five days, I think till the 2nd of February, I thought we have time to bring it back to the council and get comments, make changes. If, if okay. You guys uh, members, this item uh, 4F uh, in your binder is the draft letter. Uh, take a look at it. Let's circle back, uh, Mr. Grindstaff, later in the agenda. Uh, or perhaps at the end of today for this issue. Uh, if there's anyone in the audience that wishes to comment on this draft letter before we act, if you could put in a blue form now so that we'll uh, try to accommodate your schedule during the rest of the day. 
Uh, we'll pass on it temporarily, but come back to it uh, later for council questions as well. Okay. Anyth anything else, Mr. Grunstein? I would 